From Paul to Bloemfontein, home to what is perhaps one of South Africa's most legendary rugby schools, Grey College. 2018 has been a landmark year for the school's first 15, who have impressed on the field this year in their school's clashes across the country. There was just one match left to seal their fate for the year, and that would determine whether their unbeaten record would remain intact, and if they would finish top of the leaderboard as SA's best rugby school for 2018. They would need to get past another unbeaten school, Stellenbosch's Paul Roos, another legendary South African rugby school, and they were also hoping to claim that top spot. So, with everything to play for, the entire school was making sure the teams were going to rock on the field. It's an important year for us. Uh, we've done well uh, so far, and it's the final game against Paul Roos, and they've done well as well. It's, uh, it's a massive clash. It's waiting on Saturday. I think we're going to see good rugby uh, and we're very proud to be involved with the SA Rugby Legends as well. Uh, they're one of our sponsors on our jersey and uh, it's, it's nice to, to, to get the players uh, ready for what's happening after school as well. Um, regarding Saturday's match, I think uh, Paul Roos and Gray is going to be a massive clash. Uh, the big reason is uh, that uh, Paul Roos hasn't lost a game and Gray hasn't lost a game, so they're playing for number one. And I think that's going to that's gonna be a very entertaining game. They're old rivals of us and one of our proud inter-schools that, that we play against and one of our biggest rivalries. So, uh, and it's the last match of the year, so uh, it, it would be set up for entertaining rugby. Well, it's definitely something we've dreamt for since we came to the school. Um, the competition has always uh, been... Um, been great and um, it's been hard, especially against Port Russ. Um, looking at the statistics, they are a really good team this year as well and um, this last one's going to determine who's going to take the unbeaten season. Yeah, that's one of the reasons where we partner with uh, SA Rugby Legends and why we, we, we have them involved with Grey is uh, the legacy regarding Springbok Rugby in South Africa. We know we refer the scheme for South Africa and we, we, we try to, to develop players to play one day for the Springboks and to become successful uh, people, not just rugby players. If you look at Dre, they've been doing it since 1855 and uh, we're very proud and uh, that, that is what our job is here, to develop players so that they can come become successful and leave a legacy behind. And uh, uh, the next kid can follow in his footsteps and he creates other opportunities for those players and that, that's what we try to do at Grey College. Well, tradition at this school, it's, it's the base of everything. Everything is built at this school uh, about and around tradition. We've got small traditions like not allowed to walk on the grass when you're, until you're matric and uh, other things like in the hostel you always have to wear shoes to uh, appell, which is our register. Small things like that which teach us discipline and just to respect the people that have come before us and the old Springboks coming back watching us. Every weekend we go out there, we play for the school, but we also play for the old boys and the people that have come before us and that will come after us. So everyone coming out supporting us, that's the most significant thing and means the most to us from any other thing. The first 15 change room is considered a hallowed space and only those in the team are allowed to enter the room. The kleedkamer is a ongelooflijke plek ons hanteer en met die grootste trots nie enige iemand kan daar aan nie. Jy moet uh, vir die eerste maar gespeel het om aan te gaan en dan is daar een klein traditie achter dit. Maar ja, dit is een ongelooflijke plek vir ons. It means everything. Uh, I mean, all the guys there, uh, that has been there before us, we've got a great weight on our shoulders and uh, yeah, um, we're really excited. I mean, the first time I went in there, the tears came down my cheeks. So it's really a great privilege to just be in there for me. It's a great tradition, I think, and it's the welcoming into the first team of Grey College and you feel part of the team as soon as you leave that change room after you got your initiation. So I think it builds us and it, it creates a great bond between the players. I think it's the fact that we don't play the game just to play the game. We play the game for each other and uh, that's why we succeed because we, want, we don't want to play for ourselves and make ourselves look good. We want to play for our brother next to us on the field and I think that brothership in the team makes us who we are today. It's been amazing to have this uh, great year group. Uh, we've been working hard and uh, training hard and definitely um, we want to aspire to win this uh, last one. Um, uh, it was unfortunate to have a draw last uh, two weekends ago. Um, I couldn't, couldn't have played um, due to hamstring injury, but I wish I could have done something. 
Maar het is een ongelo- ongelooflijke seizoen dat is zo ver ervaren. Het ons het opgebouwd voor die laatste game tegen Poros. Het is verzeker een van ons grootste interschoolen dit jaar. Zo so, zien bij je uit. Um, hopefully, most of us um, have a, um, are inspired enough to make it one day um, into the professional um, level of rugby and, um, if it's possible, make it to international level. Yeah, I think uh, it, it is tough where schoolboy rugby has gone the past five years. Uh, it's very competitive uh, with all the sponsorships and, and, and the TV matches that's coming in. So we try to let them just enjoy it, uh, mainly, uh, that's the big thing, and that they enjoy rugby. Uh, while it is very competitive and, pre- and a lot of pressure, we, learn them, we try to let them learn and cope with that pressure and uh, so they can become successful. But at the main time, you must, you must let them enjoy it because they're still schoolboys. Yes, now we have our men's rugby evening, our yearly men's rugby evening with our Atomics Trust and we partnered with SA Rugby Legends and uh, uh, Gavin and, and, and them uh, also sending some players uh, that come and talk at the night. Uh, it's going to be a very nice function. Uh, we're going to have a very informal chat with Nick and Nas and, and all those guys and uh, yeah, it's massive so we can get the community involved in Bluvendam so that they can, they can open their hearts and open their finances for rugby. Uh, not just at Grey, but all over Bloom, and, and, and then we can uh, we can develop more players. And it's great to partner with SA Rugby Legends. Besides old boys and former first 15 players, there were some other legendary rugby guests in attendance. School, I never really got to play with against at, in my in my time at Cares because they were just too good. But um, you know, at, at an evening where you know funds are being raised uh, for. What has become a high cost of you know being able to be be a schoolboy, you know, traveling costs, um, and again, there's some fantastic sponsors involved. You know, SA Rugby Legends have come on board um, to a school that's really rich in rugby history. So, you know, looking forward to you know, hearing some some good old rugby stories and hopefully seeing a lot of money raised for you know a school that you know is probably one of the best schools from a rugby point of view that South Africa has at the present moment in time. It's a great privilege to welcome the uh, SA Rugby Legends here tonight, Gavin and his team. Such a privilege, uh, they're going to record this uh, event and uh, I'd like you to give them a warm applause and a welcome to Great College. Thank you very much. Of tonight's function is not only to raise money for our own development of rugby at Great College. Thank you for this year was to try to bring the bag back to the changing room of the person. So what we did was, we made the bag bigger on the jersey, we upgraded the, the first team training room, and we took the sponsor of the chest. So it's all about Gray, it's all about the bag. And so we feel. And what we're going to do is call it rugby, as I call it. It's all very close to you guys. Very well at a point. A power to heart, a power to go to you. What we're going to do is give it to you three, 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 and on Bokitabor. Let's start with Bokitabor. Let's see what we'll do. Guest speaker Nick Mallett entertained with some of his rugby insights. Great colleagues on the fantastic history and the tradition that they've had uh, as a rugby school. I mean, not only as a rugby school, but you produce brilliant athletes, you produce brilliant cricketers. It's a fantastic school. So the traditions that you have in this school, and I think it's, a, it's, it's, it's all wrapped up in, in being an all-boys school, that there's a boarding college here, yeah? that there's a uniform, that there's traditions, that you come in as a new boy, that you're mentored by a senior person, that you go through the stages of sitting on the side of the field, supporting your, your, your first team, rugby side, as a little under 14, and then as an under 15, then as an under 16, and you wait. You have to wait until you get the opportunity to play for your school. And I think that's so important in a boy's life. You know, it, it, it makes a, a boy needs boundaries, and he needs, uh, he needs structure. And out of schools like Gray, and Paul Ruth, and Paul Jim, and Paul Boys High, and Monument, and Pretoria Boys High, we've got these great schools that provide structure to our youth. A former old boy, Ian Smallsmith, was instrumental in facilitating the SA Rugby Legends badge on the first 15 jersey. Well, I'm, I'm wearing two caps, as, um, as many of you know. Um, I have an allegiance to Gray. 
uh, I attended Gray myself and my eldest matriculated in 2010 and I've got another boy at high school and um, I know what the jersey stands for and uh, and being involved with SALA I know what SALA stands for and it's an amazing organization SALA and I just thought what could be better to have SALA on the grey jersey and when I approached Gavin and Stefan with the idea they immediately agreed and they wanted to know how much money it'll cost them and I indicated to them that it's for free and they couldn't believe it they said but we used to we used to giving money to charities we used to sponsoring teams and, and I said well um, if you're on the grey jersey and you're prepared to be linked to the grey brand and we can be linked to the Sala brand there's no money involved there's no cost involved it's for free we just want the brand other SA rugby legends also came to lend their support. Yeah, it's just a great honour for me just going into the reunion hall this evening and uh, being invited to come and talk to the boys uh, uh, just about life, about rugby, uh, about my career and uh, maybe give them a little a bit of confidence just going into the game to, uh, on Saturday. And uh, yeah, but just, it's just overwhelming going into the reunion hall and it's just great to be, great to be here. I, I just think the history and, and uh, the many heroes they can look up to and uh, I also think that, that the teachers and the coaches that's involved uh, with Cray and the old boys, um, where they always uh, um, bring back the history and they cherish the history and the values of everything and uh, I think that keeps uh, keep the boys uh, believing in a, in a better tomorrow and they also want to plow back and give back to uh, generations after them. So I think that is special and, uh, um, and I think there's uh, many good schools around the country and uh, um, it, is, it is good for, for our children to have heroes. Uh, I think in current South Africa it's important to have heroes and that, bring, that will bring in future the best out of them. After all the hype and build up, it was down to those final minutes on the field to determine who South Africa's top rugby school would be for 2018. With some thrilling rugby on display from both teams, it was the home team which emerged victorious, much to the delight of the entire school.